Okay, so now Bless and I are standing uh, at the back of the Godre Espresso machine, and this is just a technical overview of what, what is happening in the back of the machine. All right, so it's got a door with two uh, screws. All right, Bless is showing it there, then it just swings open like that. PC board is connected in the back, and now I'll just let Bless talk through, uh, you know, where the water goes through the system. Okay, Bless, you go on. Okay, this is your water outlet where you connect in there from the inlet valve. This is your inlet valve. It's got two connectors and two inlets. Water starts by going into your water tank and from your water tank it goes all the way to your two boilers. First it fills up the boiler. Right. It is for the espresso and Americano. Then this is the water tank. It's got a 1600 watts in it. And then these are your solenoids to open and activate for whichever product that you select. And then from this side, you've got your ingredient motors over there. It's three of them. For the three canisters, eh? Hey? So that's milk powder or chocolate, whatever. Yes. Yeah. And then this is your extractor fan, which it turns every time when you make a selection. Mm -hmm. And then coming to this side, these are your PC boards. This is your main PC board, and then this is for actionality PC board. This works as your power. This is all your mains. Everything that you select gets mm. controlled by here. Okay. All right. So, yeah, at the bottom here is a pump, and that's something that sometimes needs to be replaced in maybe year three and four if, the, if it's not running smooth. Behind the pump is the flow meter as well. You can't see it from here so well, but there's a flow meter that controls flow as well. And then what are these orange things here, uh, uh, Bless? These are locks for emptying your machine. This empties the hot water tank, and this empties your tank. Okay. And, and you will simply unlock that and let it drain out before you transport the machine, eh? Yes. All right, so that's very important. So when, before you tra transport the machine, you've got to just unlock those two pipes and let the, you'll see they, they're completely open at the bottom and just let it run into a bucket and so that it's completely empty. And you have to lock it on the third pin as well. Yes, to, so that it's, it's tight. On the first one. It's not, yeah, I'm with you. All right, so it's simple as that. Okay, thanks.